Dr. Lisa Pearson and I'm a veterinarian that has a special interest in spaying and neutering of feral cats. And we normally trap the cats in regular wire traps that a lot of viewers are used to seeing, but this is a trap that I designed myself. It's a folding, uh, collapsible drop trap. And I'm just gonna demonstrate how to open it. This trap, if you just take the, the bungee cords off this way, and it opens up like this. And then as long as you remember to put the clasp down, so the trap is secure, that so when it falls, it doesn't bow tie in and then the cat would get loose. Just make sure you're careful to have all four clasps done up. And then the way we use this trap is we set it up on a post like this. And the rope runs out to wherever you can hide effectively without the cat seeing your movement. And then the trap door is a sliding door. And we take the food and we put it in dead center. Put the door back down. Make sure the Velcro closes it. And then you get back to where you think you can hide somewhere and not be seen. And then when you go ahead and pull the rope, the trap is uh, falls down on the cat and then we transfer the cat out of the trap, through the trap door. And at that point in time, we would have another trap with a matching sliding door on the back of that trap. We happen to use Tomahawk model number 608s, which have a sliding back door. And then the cat exited, exits the trap. First of all, we do have this completely covered with a sheet minute you pull the rope, the trap comes down on the cat. It's imperative that you use a sheet, which doesn't happen to be standing right by me right now, a big bed sheet to cover it because that will cover the cats down, uh, cover the cats, um, or calm the cats down as much as possible so they're not bouncing around in the trap. And then we go ahead and transfer them out of the trap at that point in time.
Okay, I'm just going to show how to break this trap down safely. You undo this clasp right here, it's just a, a single headed snap, and flip the clasp over and make sure that this stays up and out of the way, otherwise if you open up the trap and the clasp is in the way, you'll end up ripping it right off the PVC pipe. Go ahead and just pull this little screw out of there and open up that clasp. Just repeat the process on the other side. Flip the clasp up, flip the hasp back, open up this hasp. And then when you go to close it, just be gentle with it. You close one side like that. And it would be helpful to pick up the, um, the net so the net doesn't fall through and get snagged. And then just close it like that. And then use these bungee cords right here to hold the trap closed. Just carry it off.